We're pleased to be joined at Camp Randall Stadium by Tom Deanhart, the senior writer for BTN.com. Tom, welcome back to Madison. I know you've made a few trips the last couple of years, but uh, great to have Deaner. you with us. Yeah, it's always a great, great facility, great place to, to see a football game. And uh, you know what, Barry Alvarez, uh, you guys got a chance to speak with him. I tell you what, the facilities like you guys talked about are just fantastic here. And Gary Anderson, I tell you what, his first edition of the Badgers looks like he's going to have a good chance, I think, to be decent on offense, as you guys have probably talked about, get some playmakers on the edge defensively. I'm really excited to see what this new defense looks like as far as, you know, putting pressure on and, and having those different fronts and working out of that 3-4 base, uh, base scheme. When you look at the Big Ten big picture looking ahead to next fall, usual suspects uh, we can expect to contend? Yeah, you know, I think when you look at the leaders division, you have to start with Ohio State, obviously, 12-0 uh, last year. They come back with an awfully loaded offense. Defensively, they got some questions on the front seven. Whole new defensive line, a couple new linebackers. When you flip over to that Legends division, I think Nebraska is going to be the bellwether there. They're a lot like Ohio State as far as their personnel needs are really concerned. Offensively, they should be very good. Taylor Martinez, a lot of great skill. Defensively, though, like Ohio State, their front seven, by and large, is getting reconstructed and really will be the, the key to, to Nebraska's ability maybe to get back to that Big Ten championship game. What do you think Wisconsin needs to learn, not only today, but as we uh, progress along through summer conditioning and the fall? You know, again, um, Brandon and I talked a little bit this morning uh, about the offense in particular, the, the, the need to get those difference makers on the perimeter. Who, who's who's going to be the wide receivers that can stretch the defense? Um, there are con some concerns, obviously, about the depth of the offensive line. They got to figure out this quarterback job, too. Is it going to be Joel Stave, Coach Phillips? Is it going to be the junior college kid coming in, Tanner McAvoy? Defensively, I think they'll be pretty solid. I know there's some concerns about the secondary with three new starters, but the front seven, everybody I talked to in Madison says it's going to be exceptional. Gary Anderson, a good fit for Wisconsin? Yeah, I think so. We, we heard, uh, uh, you know, Barry Alvarez talk about fit a couple times in your conversation, and and as far as, his, you know, the, the ethics of his program mesh with what Alvarez wants, and I think he's a guy who brings a lot of those same offensive mentalities that have really been the hallmark of Wisconsin football since Alvarez got there in 1990. Tough, hard-nosed football. We're going to see some tweaks, I think, um, maybe a little bit of option football, maybe a little bit more athleticism at quarterback, but by and large, I do think Anderson is a nice fit. Do you see Melvin Gordon and James White being real candidates for the dope this year. I think they have a chance, Brandon. There's no doubt about it. This is uh, this is a school that's developed that reputation. If you're the top running back at Wisconsin, you're probably going to be automatically a dope walker contender every year. If not, maybe Heisman Trophy contender. So, you know what, James White, Melvin Gordon, um, you know, Monte Ball was a great one, guys, but I tell you what, these two backs who are going to probably carry the, the bread here this fall for Wisconsin are every bit as good, if not better than Ball in a lot of ways. Tom Deanhart, senior writer from BTN.com. BTN.com, Twitter, what else? Where else? Yeah, yeah, you know, fans, I always love interacting with fans. I love hearing from users and, and, and just Big Ten fans out there. You can always hit me up at Twitter. Uh, my handle is at BTN Tom Deanhart. And again, I'm on Twitter just about every day. Stories on BTN.com as well to keep fans updated on the goings-ons in the Big Ten from Nebraska to Penn State. Uh, basketball, football, so there's a lot going on, obviously, with spring football right now. Of course, the NFL draft coming up on Thursday. A lot of Big Ten players are going to be involved in that over that three-day event. All right. Well, Tom's going to stick with us for a little bit longer through the fourth quarter here, and great to have you in Madison as usual. And let's take a look at That's right. the spring game for the Badgers.